great resource to use to create comics is called Make Believe Comics, www.makebeliefscomics.com, and it'll take you to this web page. And to begin, just click Enter here. Give it a second for it to load up and it'll load up your comic strip that you're going to create. You'll have several options. We'll walk through those. Notice that you will need to name your comic and then you can put your name in here as well. And then if you scroll down, notice that you have a choice to make two panels, three panels, or four panels. I think I'll just stick with three for right now. And then you notice that you're working on panel one because the red line is around that. So you can choose over here characters that you might want to add and you can scroll across here to find the character that best fits whatever it is that you're creating. I'm going to choose that and I'm going to go ahead. I like this. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it and notice that she appears up here. And I have the ability over here to move her so I can move her to anywhere on my comic strip. I could actually scale her down and so if I'm wanting to make her smaller I can choose to just scale her down if I would like to and then right here on the side notice that I can just scale it down a little bit. Again I can go back up to move, maybe move her back down a little. I can bring her to the front if there happens to be something there that I want her to be in front of and I can flip her as well so if I flip her because I need her to be on one side or the other I think I'll just flip her back for this for this moment. And then I can always delete and I can start over. And now I might want to put in some type of object or scene. So we can click through here to see what we might want her to have. And I can choose an umbrella. I notice then I'm going to want to click on the move button, move it up to her hand. Obviously I'm probably going to want to scale this a little bit just based on the fact that it looks a little bit too big for her. So I can do it like that. And again, I have lots of options that I can scroll through over here in my um, things. Maybe I'm, you know, maybe I want something in the background. And so I can, and so let's click that. Notice that it's raining. We've got the umbrella. Everything looks good. And then I can go on to the next one as well. The other thing that you're probably going to want to add down here is talk bubbles. So I'm going to go ahead and click talk bubble and, um, Put it in there and then I click inside and then I will be able to type in type in the words that I would like to put inside of there and so really easy and I can again I could move this around if it was in my way I can't size um, I can size down the bubbles to make them a little bit smaller again I'm able to move them around as well and click inside just to change my text You can just go in and delete that out and then you'll be able to put in there whatever you would like. So again, I just go and then I also can put in um, panel products so I could choose to put in the next day, although I might want to move to there and put in the put in that and add it to that at the top. Again, I have the ability also to change the background color if I wanted it to be green on that one or blue or go back to the white color. So again, all those different options along the left to make changes to it, add characters and objects and backgrounds, talk bubbles and panel prompts. And I can go through the panel prompts and choose. There's several of these if I went through. I could choose till I found the one that I wanted. When I'm done and I have my cartoon and I think I'm ready to go, I'm going to go ahead and hit next. And now I can review it. It looks just like I want it to. I could email it to my teacher. I could email it to myself. I can print it and it will print a copy of it. Or I can go back and edit. The really most important thing is not to hit the back button on your browser to make sure you click here to go back and edit. It'll take you back here and you can make some changes. But again, once mm -hmm. I'm done, I just go forward and you're ready to go. Great way to create a comic strip. There's no login or sign in required for this. Good luck and have fun creating comic strips.